Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video on the oil cleansing method. And the oil cleansing method is my personal favorite way to cleanse my skin. I've been using it for years and it's made a huge difference on my skin. As a lot of you guys know, I used to suffer from really severe acne. Every square inch of my face was just covered in horrible acne. It left me with a lot of acne scars, a lot of hyperpigmentation and a lot of insecurities about my skin. So although there was many different things, a combination of things that helped me heal my skin, using natural skincare products, using high quality oils and doing the oil cleansing method made a huge difference and it just improved my skin so much. So if you've never heard of oil cleansing before, oil cleansing is basically just using a mixture of oils to wash your face instead of using your standard foaming cleanser or you know, whatever other cleanser you buy at the store. Now, if you're freaking out thinking, no way am I gonna be applying oil to my face, that's gonna break me out so bad, because you know, a lot of the times when we think of oil, we think of oily skin, and when we think of oily skin, we think of having breakouts and having clogged pores and blackheads. So it seems kind of counterintuitive to be slathering oil all over your face, but I assure you, if you are using high quality, organic, cold-pressed, plant, nut, or seed oils, you're more than likely not going to break out and it's actually going to really help you heal your skin. I have really acne-prone skin and I use oils on a daily basis and it's done nothing but improve my skin. So I'm a lover of the oils, I use them every day, and I don't think we should be afraid of them. But like I said, it depends what oil you're using. There are a lot of oils that can clog your pores, but there's also a lot of high quality oils that I'm gonna be talking about in a few seconds that will just improve your skin and help your skin heal. So now if you're wondering, how can an oil cleanse my skin? Well, we're just gonna bring it right back to basic chemistry and look at the principle of like dissolves like. So basically, if you have oil that's hardened into your pores and clogging your pores, you can use oil to gently dissolve and remove some of the oil that's clogged into your pores. So it's really simple if you think about it, but it just works. It leaves your skin feeling so clean and soft and it works better than any other cleanser I've ever used. So that's a little bit of info on oil cleansing, but now we're gonna get into the fun stuff and I'm gonna be showing you some of the oils I like to use and I'm gonna do my demonstration on how I cleanse my skin. So keep on watching. So you can easily make your own do-it-yourself oil cleansing mixture, which I'll show you in a second, or you can just buy an oil cleanser. My favorite oil cleansers are the best skin ever oil cleansers from Living Libations. I've literally tried every single one they sell, but my favorites would have to be the Sandalwood Best Skin Ever and the Rose Best Skin Ever. I've gone through multiple bottles of these. The ingredients are super nourishing and luxurious, and I'm just a huge fan of them and highly recommend them. But if you like making your own products and maybe want a less expensive option, you can easily make an oil mixture yourself. So let's talk about what oils to use. Castor oil is a star when it comes to oil cleansing. It's extremely deep cleaning, so I always recommend you use at least a little bit in your oil cleansing mixture. But just like most things, there are high quality and there's low quality castor oil. And it's very important that you choose a castor oil made from organic castor beans that's been cold pressed and is free from hexane. It should not be solvent extracted. This is very important when it comes to castor oil, so I'll link a couple of brands that I would recommend down below. And I will mention, since castor oil is so deep cleaning, it can be quite drying to the skin as well. So if you have oily skin, you can get away with using more castor oil, but if you have dry skin, you'll probably only wanna use a very small amount in your mixture. Now for your second oil, it's gonna really depend on what kind of skin type you have. So you may need to play around with different oils and experiment to see what works best for your skincare needs. Some of my favorite oils to use are jojoba oil and hemp seed oil. A lot of people will use grape seed oil, apricot seed oil, sweet almond oil, coconut oil. Although some people do say they break out from coconut oils and others say that it works wonders on their skin. So, you know, you just have to try it out. And avocado oil is really good if you have super dry skin. 
And for some specialty oils for added skin benefits, I love tamanu oil, sea buckthorn seed oil, neem oil, argon oil, and rosehip seed oil. Sea buckthorn and tamanu oil in particular are two oils that are very close to my heart. They've helped me with my acne and scarring a lot, so I highly recommend them, and they may just be my favorite oils ever. So for my do-it-yourself cleansing mixture, I like to use around 30% or less castor oil, around 50% of a second oil. I really like jojoba, but you can use whatever oil suits your skin type. And then finally, around 20% of a specialty oil. I like tamanu oil and sea buckthorn oil to help with acne scarring. You can also add in certain high quality essential oils if you wanna target specific skin issues and add some aromatherapy benefits. And then you can just shake your bottle up until all the oils are combined. Just have fun and play around with your mixture and find what works best for you. So now I'm going to demonstrate how I do the oil cleansing method. I start off by just taking a few pumps of oil onto my hand and then I massage that into my skin. And I usually take at least a few minutes to really work it into my skin and give my face a massage at the same time. Facial massage will help stimulate blood flow to the face so it's really good for the skin and some people do it for anti-aging which is pretty cool. And if you're wondering how often you should oil cleanse, you can oil cleanse your skin twice a day, just like you would any other cleanser. I sometimes do it morning and night, especially if I've been wearing makeup, but for most makeup free days, I'll usually just wipe my face down with rose water and moisturize in the morning, and then I'll do my oil cleansing at night. And I find keeping my skincare simple like this has really improved my skin. So now that I've massaged the oil into my skin for a few minutes, I'm just gonna take a fresh clean washcloth and run it under hot water and then wring it out and drape it over my face and allow that steam to really help loosen the oil. And a lot of the times I'll be doing this while I'm in the shower because the steam from the shower helps loosen up that oil and it's just the perfect place to wash your face. I usually leave it on until it no longer feels warm, and then I wipe away and get all that oil and makeup off my skin. Oil cleansing is the best makeup remover. It removes everything. And you may want to repeat the steaming part, especially if you're wearing a lot of makeup, just because you want to make sure you've got everything off. And after you're done, your face won't feel oily, it'll feel very clean, so you can just finish off your skincare routine by spraying your face with some hydrosol to tone it, and then apply your serums or your moisturizers, or simply a bit more oil to bring some moisture back into your skin. And now your face should feel nice and clean, and it should feel really soft as well because the washcloth gently exfoliates the skin. So that's how I wash my face. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you haven't tried oil cleansing yet, definitely give it a shot. It's really worked wonders for my skin, and I will see you in my next video.